in this video, I'm going to be trying out and showing a FPS boosting program which is proven to provide a 100% FPS increase. Alongside revealing this FPS program, I'm going to provide some useful tips to help you increase Minecraft FPS and PC performance. And I want to make a deal with you. I'm going to give away 5 copies of this new FPS boost program to 5 of you who like this video, subscribe and comment down below. And as soon as we hit 4,000 likes on this video, I'm going to release a brand new face cam video. Also, if you didn't know, I'm giving away a 1060 GTX graphics card and 8 gigs of RAM. So like and subscribe to enter. And by the way, YouTube is telling me that a very high percentage of you watching aren't subscribed. So let's change that. Hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you never miss a video. I've been on a epic quest to find the best methods for FPS boosting within Minecraft. FPS is important and I'm going to finally reveal how you can get a 100% FPS boost increase for Minecraft as well as some useful tips to help you increase your PC performance and in-game connection. I've teamed up with a specialist optimization company called Hone and I'm about to download their very own program called Hone Optimization which is a free desktop app that optimizes is your PC to increase FPS and reduce connection lag to Hypixel and other games and improve performance. They have a huge Discord server where you can join to find out how you can get a FPS boost for games and improve your PC performance as well as specific game settings and new ways to improve render settings for YouTube videos and I'm going to go ahead and leave the Discord server down in the description. So I'm about to download their free FPS boosting program and show you how to finally improve your FPS. I'm giving away five copies of the program, but you can also download the program if you invite 20 people to the Discord or subscribe to their Patreon. Let's get into this. Okay, so we're about to download the FPS boosting program. So we're currently on the Optimizer website for Hone, and when you're on this website, you're going to be asked to log into your Discord, so make sure you have a Discord account. Equally, you can also subscribe to their Patreon. It's £4, and you get access to this program, or you can invite 20 people to their Discord. Discord server where you can also get this program. So we're just going to click on download and as you can see these are the statistics that it provides. So we're going to go ahead and download this program right here. We're going to just download it into Hone Optimizer and as you can see we're going to just run this program right here. So as you can see here we just click on yes. This is the Hone setup and here it's going to ask you to install. You're just going to click on next and then you're going to go next again and if you want it to create a desktop shortcut then you go next and install and it's that simple. So we're going to go ahead and run this program. Now it's very important you have Discord and and you're also in the Hone Discord server because once you've installed the program, it's going to go ahead and ask you right here if you want to authenticate. And what you're going to want to do is simply click on authenticate. It's going to take you to Discord. Now, as you can see down below here, it also says game priority will help optimize your CPU, GPU, and power options for the best possible in-game performance. Now, you can click this. I mean, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and include game priority, but it's entirely up to you. Now, I'm going to click on run optimizations, and as you guys can see here, it's now running the optimizations. Now, once this thing is fully loaded, we're going to go back into Minecraft and try this thing out. Now, I do have a benchmark for all of you wondering. We're not just going in and seeing what the FPS boost increase actually says. It says you must restart your PC to turn off user account control, as you can see right here. But I just wanted to say that the benchmark for this video is purely going to be based on the FPS we were getting in the Hypixel lobby while looking right at the arena in the middle. Now, I was getting around 400 to 500 FPS, on average 460. And what we're going to be doing is loading back into Minecraft, trying out a few game modes, and seeing what FPS we get on average when playing Skywars, Bedwars, and UHC duels. And as I mentioned a little later in this video, I'm also going to be showing you a few interesting useful tips that you can use to increase your FPS in Minecraft. Now anyway, we're going to go ahead and wait for this to load up and we're going to try it out. Okay, now as you can see, once you've successfully optimized your PC, it will now say optimizations have been applied. You may now close the program, restart your computer, and we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to go ahead and try things out. Okay, what the hell? I was just getting 2000 FPS in the UHC deathmatch lobby. Now, so far, I have benchmarked my FPS in the Hypixel hub before and after use and I've noticed around a 2 
to 300 FPS boost increase. Now, we're about to load up into a UHC deathmatch game, and I must admit, I am very impressed. Now, the biggest noticeable differences are actually from, like, my general PC performance. Like, this program is actually pretty insane. Like, it actually really helps your PC, not just within gaming, but also outside. Like, we are getting 1,000 FPS right now. We are using a default texture pack, as you guys can see, but we're also playing Minecraft in not exactly the lowest settings. We're playing on, like, pretty fancy settings for Minecraft. Obviously, we're not using shaders or anything, but so far, it's very smooth. Like, I am very much impressed with how this client is performing right now, and also, I don't really know if I can say much about my connection in-game to Hypixel, but it doesn't seem laggy at all. Like, I get my regular, like, 100 MS lag. It doesn't really seem too bad, aside from that, but it's very dark down here. What happened? I don't have, like, max brightness on or something? I'm sorry for this, guys. We're gonna have to, like, do something in the editing here, because this is, uh, clearly not gonna work. Okay, no, no, let's kill you before you eat a gapple. Okay. Now, I do want to change this real quick. Do I have it on moody? Okay, it's on bright, though, for some reason. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I have full bright on, do I? Yeah, I'm not sure it's why, why it's so dark down there. The lighting on this texture pack must be a little bit bugged. Now, another thing that I did mention in the intro, which is also very important, is that you must create a Windows restore point before you install any program or before you try any of the useful tips that I'm about to show you, because obviously, you might not like how your computer looks. I mean, it doesn't really change too much in terms of visual. It makes things improve much, like, rapidly. It makes your PC perform much faster, but it does change some of the very minor details to how your PC desktop may look, for example, from what I noticed. Like, this isn't guaranteed to happen. This is just something that could happen for you if you try and install the program or include any of the useful tips and you just want to get rid of them. Make sure you create a Windows restore point, like I mentioned in the intro. I just want to reiterate that because that's very important, you know? It's not so, like, the, pro the changes that we're making are, like, changes to your PC and how it operates in a sense. So you just want to make sure you're staying safe with how you're doing things. You know, you just want to be happy with if you're making these changes or if you're not. I don't want you guys to feel like you're stuck with these settings or something like that, but they are very much great. Like, honestly, it's a little unfair for me to do this comparison because I do have a mega PC these days. You know, it's not like I didn't just get a crazy PC that I've been flexing for the, 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 too much time recently that I probably should stop uh, flexing because it's going to get to the point where karma's going to hit me somehow. My PC is probably going to just break randomly. Like, I don't know, lightning might strike it like in minecraft i have no idea but we're just gonna clean up this game real quick i mean we're doing some great work honestly we've we're this is ridiculously overpowered this this whole program and everything about it is just ridiculous i really recommend using hone like i did an fps boosting comparison a few years ago and you guys loved that video and that was using a different program and i must admit this one actually takes things to a next level like i'm not going to compare both of them because they both operate differently but you guys really need to try this thing out and as i mentioned if you want to get this program you need to invite 20 people to the home discord server the link is down below or equally you guys can subscribe to their patreon which also has other effects you get the brand new versions of the program when they update because this program is still in alpha which is pretty crazy to think i mean the owners did mention to me that they're making consistent updates and uh and i must admit it is a very dedicated community and team towards you know kind of optimization for your pc and ho loads of little improvements that you guys can make and useful tips like they don't just work on minecraft guys this goes well and beyond Minecraft. This is, they help with graphics cards. They help with how you, your video actually functions and operates within other games. It's very much a very great community. And we just cleaned up this game like it was nothing, which is just hilarious. Now the Hone Optimization Program is great. It's possibly the best FPS boosting program that I've ever come across. However, if you don't want to install the program, I'm about to show you five useful tips that you can use to increase your FPS and general PC performance. All of which I found on the home discord so feel free to join the discord now before we go any further i want all of you to do this and you should really be doing this before you install any program as well especially the home optimization now what you're going to want to do is go ahead you're going to click on your windows desktop and you're going to type in restore point now what you're going to want to do here is simply create a restore point now here you can just click on create and you can just name it whatever you want now once you've done that it's great because you can pretty much if anything goes wrong just go on to restore point and actually go back to how your pc exactly was before before you installed or changed anything. Now, please go ahead and do that. I'm not held accountable for anything that happens to your PC, so please go ahead and do this. Make sure you're staying safe. Just in case your PC does not like any of the changes that are made, you can go back to a point of which it was completely fine. Having said that, I want all of you to go ahead and go to the description and download Hone Discord Tweaks. Now, what we're gonna be doing is clicking download here. Oh, we have two beautiful clients here. You're gonna click on download, and once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open this thing up. Now, once you've opened this up, as you guys can see, you have like read me important info, and you can read through this. It's, it's pretty good. It, you know, pretty much signifies everything we're about to do. Now, as you guys
guys can see here, there's a couple of things. We've got Hone Power Plan, Time Resolution Server, Resolution Service. You've got MSI Mode, NVIDIA Settings, Reinstalling NVIDIA, Defloating, Infinity. Now, this first useful tip only works with NVIDIA graphics cards, so make sure you have one of those. The easiest way to do this is if you just right click, it will say NVIDIA Control Panel. And if you have that, then you are most likely having NVIDIA graphics card. And now what you're going to want to do is go into the NVIDIA Settings in Hone Discord Tweaks, and you're going to go click on MSI Afterburner. Now, what you're going to do is click on this, and uh, it says make sure you have MSI Afterburner installed to the default directory. You're going to click on OK, and here it is pretty much going to install it for you. OK, now once it's kind of done its thing, you're going to click on English. Yes, I mean, if you're English, then yep. Click Next, click on I Accept. Now, it's going to install this. Now, you don't need this other program. You just can just click off that. Click on Next. As you can see, it's going to install. Don't change the location of where you install it. Just make sure it's in default. And here you go. You're going to click on Install, and it's going to be installing. Now, as you can see, it's created a nice little shortcut for us in the top left. I mean, it will pretty much be anywhere. You can just, you know, we're just going to run this. We don't need to read the show me. I'm going to tell you what to do. Now, uh, we can click off this now, I believe. Yep, the skin has been imported. So you've got to wait for that message. And uh, one thing you want to do is actually go to here and go to user interface and go into, um, you're going to go into default. Now you're just going to click apply and click OK there. So now it's in default mode. Now, once you click on K, this is where you enable K, K boost. So you're going to click on that. And I just want to say before you click on this, this actually max clocks your graphics card. So if you don't want it to do that, then don't do that. I mean, obviously it will make things hotter for your GPU. So just make sure if you're worried about temperature, it's probably not for you, but that's how you max overclock your graphics card. Okay, so for the next useful tip, you're going to want to go back into Hone Discord Tweaks and you're going to go onto Defloat Windows. Now, what this does, essentially all it does is removes everything that your PC doesn't really need, that it's in Windows, unnecessary things that don't really matter, that could be slowing things down. So you're just going to right click this and you're going to click on Run as Administrator. It's going to be running some commands and that's it. Okay, and for the next useful tip, you're going to want to go back into Hone Discord Tweaks and this time we're going to go into MSI mode. Now, what this is essentially improves your connection, removes some of the unnecessary things that are really in your PC. Um, so you're going to want to just open this. And as you can see here, this will look different based on what graphics card you have. Now, what you're going to want to do is find your graphics card. So mine's the 3070 right here, and you're going to set this priority to high. Now, after this, you're also going to do the same with your ethernet connection. So you're going to go over here. And once you find that, it should say like Intel or whatever, and uh, you just click on high. So that pretty much prioritizes this. And uh, what you're also going to want to do is remove these all of these from the limit so it's becoming unlimited so you just remove this for everything and then once you've done that you're going to just want to click on apply and there you go now i must admit i've never come across such an organization or company that's so dedicated to improving your pc performance and optimization in so many different areas like their discord is insane it offers so many different services and even though i've been working with hone on this video i must admit i am very surprised at how dedicated and how good their actual organization is to really support Support with, you know, obviously increasing your FPS in loads of different areas and in general, just PC performance. I am very impressed by their organization and what they are providing to customers. I mean, it is honestly such a solid organization and we're just going to kill this person right here. But I can't stress enough, guys. Just make sure you join their Discord server. As I mentioned, I'm giving away the program to a lucky five of you who comment down below, like this video and subscribe. And we are almost dead there. Holy, that was, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. I mean, we had an ender pearl, but that was terrifying. Now, I can't stress this enough, but please make sure you have a restore point before you do any of the tweaks that I showed you. As I already mentioned, like I don't want you guys stressing about not being able to undo anything that you've done or been shown in this video. But honestly, my PC feels great. I've obviously shown off a couple of the tips. I have the program, obviously. But aside from that, the PC just in general just feels so much better since I've installed it. And also, where is my... Okay, we're just going to jump into the middle here, I guess. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, we don't really have anything other than uh, one of these that I'm going to have to put you in. I'm sorry. Yo, what's up, dude? All right, we got him in lava. We got him in the lava. Oh, my God. Here we go. Good game. Okay. Oh, my God. He just threw some stuff at me. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, we just beat that guy to take the win here. And I think it's time to end today's video right there. Oh, yeah. It was Easter yesterday. We're in the Easter lobby right now. Well, guys, I'm going to end today's video in front of the Easter bunny. Hope you all had a great holiday. I hope this video was useful. I know it was rather detailed in depth, something that I wouldn't typically upload, but I just felt like I owed it to you guys to provide some very useful tips and show you a very good and useful program that you can use to increase your FPS in Minecraft in 2021. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I can't stress this enough, but a huge thank you to Hone for really reaching out to me and showing me all of these useful tips and their insane program. Please make sure to check it out. I'll see you guys in my next video and goodbye.